in this video I am going to show you how to use UI image picker view controller now that is used to get your images from your photo library or to get it from your camera so let's go ahead and start up the project and I'll start a view based application and I'll call it image picker app create the project and once I'm done with that now first thing I need is a couple of buttons which you click will show the uh, will show the UI image picker view controller so in view did load I will add a couple of buttons what I've done is previously I have used the code snippet library on the right side which gives you some uh, code templates and I added a UI button template since I use it quite often I just thought it's useful to have that and there we go you can just drag and drop it and we have the button code here so I make the button I call it 10 10 10 and library here button click say 1 button click 2 so I call it button 2 let's move this button a little to the right so library and button let's see how it looks like when I run the application in the simulator and simulator opens up and we should have image and two buttons nothing happens it crashes when I click library because the functions are not yet implemented so I'll go back to my code copy the button functions and implement the functions so so I have that put the functions ready now the application will not crash but we want the library to show up when the button one is clicked so I have also saved a couple of images in the library beforehand uh, in the photo library if you look at it I have a couple of images already saved up so let's go ahead and UI image picker view picker controller give it a name picker equal to UI image picker controller allocate and initialize now we have to tell it what kind of picker it is picker dot say I want a source type what is the source type I want UI image picker controller source type this is library so I'll select photo library and I will say self present model view control I want to show up as a model view controller so I will say picker and animated yes so what should happen is when you when the library shows up you select your image and it shows the uh, shows the image in image view inside your app so I also need a UI image view so let me make a UI image view first image view image view and let me place it inside here somewhere image view is equal to image view allocate and initialize with frame cg rect make I'll call it say 50 by you can say 10 by 50 by 300 by say 300 square image even though the image is not square uh, so we give the initialization function and let me add this self dot view add sub view image view see now I've not yet given the image because I don't have an image how do we get the image so let's see if this thing works initially uh, so let me run the project and when I run it I have library click on library library shows up my two images show up but nothing happens when I click on it the image doesn't show so we need to implement something called as UI image picker controller delegate what does this have let's right click and jump to definition and we'll see it has image picker controller but it's not available in after 3.0 so this image picker controller picker did finish picking media so this lets you kind of pick any kind of media but we are doing we're talking about image images right now from photo library so I do that I copy that and 
what is info now let's look at the documentation what this particular function does so let me go to your image controller and delegate function and inside this we have these functions and the one that I use is this one it has something called as info inside here what is info info is is a dictionary and it has some keys the one that I'm looking is original image this is what I need so I'll just copy that and go back here and I will say in the function image view dot image equal to UI image image hmm. so I can get the image directly from info info uh, object it's a dictionary so I can just use object for key and I can give the thing that I copied here UI image picker controller original image so once I have that I have the image I give it to the image view the image view should show up so the one thing that is left is one more thing that is left is didn't say where the delegate methods are implemented so I'll say here equal to self and if you run it library images select the image nothing happens why does it anything because let me look at it says delegate or oh, it also needs UI navigation controller delegate because it is subclassed from navigation controller delegate let's see if that is what was missing library select the image doesn't happen uh, the image is selected I have to press cancel I can also say self dismiss model view controller animated yes as soon as you select I can just say dismiss the model view controller and show the Im show the view behind library select there we go library select the second one the second image comes up similarly you can use the second button which we have to show up camera but this will not work on simulator because simulator doesn't have the camera I can copy the same code here and instead of photo library I can say camera delegate self and if you run this code on your iPhone by connect your iPhone and selecting the iPhone it will just do the same thing that it did for our simulator which is you can just select the image from here and it will show up here so that's how your image picker view controllers work um, you can have a bunch of different functions in your picker picker but um, don't remember it back of my head so I can just go to the documentation and look at what that function is which I'm looking for um, it's called allows editing so there is one more function which allows editing equal to yes if I say this and run the project it will show me a square where I can just select whatever I want I can scale it move it choose and it will show the full, full image because I had said controller um, original image so let's go to this function and what we need is let's go ahead and click on this and what we need is the edited image so there is the edited image code and I can just use that and run the application again and now it should give me the edited image so choose and there we go we got the edited image that's how UI image picker controller work and uh, that's it for today um, I hope you liked it please subscribe uh, like the video and uh, if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section thank you